What's up, this is Jeff. This is David. And we are playing Dark Souls the Second. Yay! Uh, you, you will recall from last time the video that you probably skipped because it was super short. But we uh, we did explode a giant rat thing. I, so I watched it. it. Uh, yes, you did. I also watched it. I was there. Uh, we're going to do something a lot more difficult in this uh, video. We're going to be fighting the Belfry Gargoyles. It's the worst. <laughs> but we will prepare properly. We've been preparing this whole, this whole time. We're talking to Magerold, and we're going to spice down two of our spells. We have four simpleton spices that we've collected so far. Mm -hmm. One we're going to use to spice down... Uh, Greater heavy horse and so uh, I think it's greater heavy soul arrow. Great, I think great soul arrow. Oh, gets down to eleven, and then we're also using greater or heavy going from fourteen to eleven. So this way we have eleven intelligence requirement for two of the spells. Uh, that ding was so that because the recording of me going through this area the first time got lost. So I was just like put the. Pharaoh's Lockstone in yeah, there. Yeah, put the Pharaoh's Lockstone in there. There'll be a few more dings that are important. Anyways, we spice down our spells so that we can actually cast spells. Now, <laughs> right here in this... Uh, That's a, a bomb, yes. Yes, in that corpse's uh, area, there is a simpleton spice. No, sim the other one. Right. Uh, the, the faith spice. Anyways, there's uh, a second yeah. one here. Uh, the Belfry has three of them that we're going to be collecting okay. which as mentioned i've already technically collected but then the recording got eaten so right. i was running through again this is how to get through the belfry uh fortunately a two-handed mace will stun lock these guys yeah almost anything stun locks those guys so yes which is good because they uh they deal a lot the of reason, damage yeah they do a lot of damage and the reason that i'm attacking the uh bell guardians here is because they can shoot you off the ladder I have oh. to get like a few lucky, uh, uh, a few lucky uh, throws, crossbow, yeah, arrows or bolts or whatever they're uh, using. I didn't know they had long range attacks, honestly. Yeah, they totally can knock you off. It sucks. There's the third one. Okay. Uh, of the, uh, it's not Simple and Spice. What's the other one called? Um, I lost the, I lost the name. Uh, skeptics. Yes, skeptics. Yes. So the skeptic spice. There's three of them we picked up here. Do they not uh, uh, attack you when you're pulling the lever? Uh, they can? I don't know why that guy didn't. It doesn't matter. By ringing that bell, it opens up the path to the boss. Okay, so we'll be there in just a second. Now, you'll remember way, way back when we went to a secret door and we found a sorcerer's wand, mm -hmm. sort of staff. We're going to upgrade it to plus six. Okay. Uh, we're not going to upgrade it past that because the Titanite chunks were actually we can use for other things. Right. If you want to use it on armor, I guess you could do that, but mm -hmm. I'm saving those for other things. But now, because we have... Uh, the Southern Ritual Band plus one ring, and we also have the Ring of Intelligence that we bought from Strayed for 28,000 souls. And we have the Sorcerer's Staff, which we found in the secret area in the first area of the game. And because we spiced down the two spells, we can, at level one, cast Great Soul uh, Arrow and Great Heavy Soul Arrow. And heavy soul arrow. Nice. <clears throat> okay. Now that I've gotten all that out of the way, we can actually get to the fight. <laughs> There's a lot of setup for this one. <laughs> And you, you decided you're going to kill the Belfry Gargoyles without healing. Yes. Well, it's not... There's no Estus. We're, I'm going to still be using life gems, so... Okay. Cheater. Anyway. I know. I know, right? <laughs> such a scrub. Filthy casual. This is, sucks. This fight is the worst. They're the worst. Yeah. Hey, here's a strategy. You go in with one other person and beat them to death in less than a second because they're super easy when you have multiple people. Which is, Anyways, I believe, what the fight was designed they're weak, around. They're weak to lightning, they're weak to magic, they're weak to bludgeoning damage or strike damage, which is great because we have a lightning maze. Mm -hmm. So they have a bunch of attacks that are based on range, depending on if you're close or far, and if they're on the ground or in the air. But on the ground, they can do a single sweep like so. They can also, I guess, jump backwards as they want to do this. The thrust after landing, if they go up into the air and you're near them, they can choose to either do a dive bomb or a thrust after landing attack where they fall down and then they will thrust towards you with a slight delay. That's the one you have to pay attention to the most because I just got hit with it there. Mm -hmm. If they land behind you, that's probably what they're going to do. They also have a, a lightning sort of dark magic attack that I've never seen really because he's about to cast it but he died i've seen it <laughs> and, and the, i've and none of the other attempts had the um had them actually doing that mm -hmm. <clears throat> so for the most part if 
if they're in the air and you're at a long range and they're over 50% health or if there is fewer than if, if there's two anyways they can die bomb you <laughs> right. there's like a lot of conditions the other equipment we're using here is the uh, two handing the uh, night shield so that we can 100% uh, block their physical attacks mm -hmm. when you're at a distance they'll start running towards you and as soon as you get close they will do a melee attack which can be a thrust it can also be a sweep it can also be a combo which can be two or three long depending on if you're standing next to them after they do the second hit mm -hmm. which we'll see in a second here uh, but the reason you want to get very used to the uh, delayed thrust is because that's what's usually going to hit you off camera because they'll land behind you. And you just have to know that it's like one second after they land, that's where the thrust comes in. Mm -hmm. So another ground combo they can do is uh, they can do up to two, which combos off the thrust, or they can do three, which combos off of a sweep attack, which we'll see here in an alternate universe where they do two hits and then actually you can spin around and do a third which sucks <laughs> yeah <laughs> so the general strategy here is going to be uh beating the first one down with the mace two-handing the mace if you get lucky uh and the first one kind of plays nice you can kill the first gargoyle like before the second one even gets near you mm -hmm. that's not always going to happen so what i usually end up doing for this fight is going in two-handing the lightning mace getting like two or three hits on the first guy so he's down less than half health um and then it's either using using pokes uh or using magic which is what i suggest mm -hmm. because uh you got even in sl1 you've got a lot of range on this Ah. So now that these, now that there's a lot of them on the screen and one of them is less than half health, they have access to their fire attacks, of which there are three. This is the first one, which they use in the air. So if they're in the air, they're less than 50% health, or there's multiple, let's say, more than two of them on the screen at the same time. There's a good chance they're using fire. This is actually a good thing, as long as you only keep one of them at less than half health at a time, because it kind of locks them down in place, makes them very easy to dodge. Right. Uh, if you have more than, if you have three or more that are at less than half health, you can have the entire screen filled with fire. You don't want that. Nope. That's bad. That's hard to dodge. Hey, you got somebody coming awake right next to you. So there, there can be up to five of them on the screen. Oh crap! Really? <laughs> uh huh. If you're too slow, because they will just keep joining the fight after a certain amount of time has mm -hmm. passed. Uh, the ground fire actually has two varieties. That's the cone, which is close range, but, you know, covers an area. Mm -hmm. And we'll see later uh, one of the deaths was because of the fire sort of line mm -hmm. that shoots out a lot further, but of course is more narrow, so you can dodge it easier. Right. Generally speaking, we're going to keep them... Well, I, I'm doing counterclockwise, but, you know, you could do whatever you want. Right. Uh, going around the arena. Keep in mind the layout of the arena in your head. It's a rectangle, but there are the plinths that they stand on, mm -hmm. uh, which you can either get caught on, which is bad, or you might be able to hide behind, you know, in a very, very rare situation. I never when managed to do it. When they're, like, running directly at you, it might cause them to uh, stop in such a way that their attack will whiff. But generally speaking, you actually want to stay close to them because you want them to be clumped up together and you want them to do short range attacks. Uh, so like a lot of, I ran out of that particular spell, that's okay. I, I noticed. Like a lot of, of bosses in the game, you want to you wanna get close, even though you naturally you'd feel like that would be a bad place because that's also where you're going to get hit the most. But they're, you want to control when they're doing attacks mm -hmm. because they their attacks are they all have a long recovery and they're not as aggressive when there's multiple of them but what you want, if you can get more than one of them to do an attack then you can get free hits mm -hmm. because it means that the uh, the recovery time for the different attacks will be that was a that was the time delayed dodge. Frost. yes indeed so if that's Trust. what happens if you yeah if you do a dodge roll at the Ooh. very close to dying uh, everything's fine everything's fine <laughs> everything's good no problems so if you roll immediately after you see the land that's what happens they just stab you hmm. uh, this is actually working out well because this one is such low health that he's doing nothing but fire attacks uh, which means that oh. uh, oh. it's a little uh, a little nervous there. 
Yeah. You try and, so right here is an example. You didn't want to heal, don't want to heal because they're both running at you. you needed to get in close so they both did an attack. Mm -hmm. So now that they've both done an attack, I baited out the fire and I baited out the aerial attack. I'm going to the corner so I can get one life gem off. So that guy is going to, yeah, do another diving attack. Fire is still going on. Now that one's finally dead and it's just down to one. And one gargoyle is actually extremely easy because their attacks are very slow. Right. They're uh, designed around there being like three to five of them. Yes, they're into being, yes, anywhere from two to five of them at the same time. It's a. Uh, it's like, like, like there. That's the like the proper way to dodge. You have to wait. You just have yeah. to wait a little bit longer. <laughs> uh, another another good way to do damage is using black fire bombs because it does as much damage as your heavy heavy soul spirit, like to like two fifty or so. Yeah. It's like really good against them. This strategy is not what I'm recommending. I did. I tried it first. But the problem with the black fire bombs is that they are still expensive, so it's not as tenable as magic. Right. You like, did it. If you're yes, hooray! Yeah, <laughs> if you're really good with using the fire bombs, then that would be a good choice. But each time you die, they're wasted. So yeah, yeah. I don't recommend that necessarily. But if you have them to use, you might as well. Now let's go and see uh, how I died. <laughs> This is during the first attempt. As you can see, the first attempt was going very well. Yes. Oh, <laughs> you're first almost attempt... done. Oh. Uh, and then the line of fire got me. I was very um, upset at that conclusion. Now, I'm... I'm. Look at all these pro dodges. Look, Just look at it. But no. No. I'd like to know that there was a number of pro dodges. We saw that one earlier. Yeah. <laughs> this is just a reminder. Now, that did not kill me. That, yeah. that one did. So the, the delayed <laughs> thrust is pretty much what did me in every single time. That in the line uh, of fire. Yes. Uh, those gargoyles are the worst. They suck so bad. <laughs> Don't ever fight them alone at SL1. Yeah, that seems like a very unfun thing you did. <laughs> Uh, but now it's over, so I don't have to do it again. Hooray! Ever, ever. <laughs> Unless you discover a better strategy, and then you have to do it all over again. You can also use uh, Flame Swath, which of course you only have two of, if you have your Pyro, pyro Hand ready. Mm -hmm. uh, if you get them all grouped up and use Flame Swath, they will do a lot of damage. Uh, but if you miss, then you're out. <laughs> so there's that. <laughs> yeah. Um... This is why I recommend going with the magic strategy because you can you can cast from a large distance away. Right. Uh, you still only have access to your blue shield, so you'll take chip damage from the attacks, but chip damage is better than full damage. Yeah. If you do want to do the black firebomb strategy, I would suggest two-handing the kite shield or the night shield. So you get the full damage reduction when you're blocking, which is great. It means they basically can't hit you unless you're out of stamina and there's like four of them trying to stab you at the same time, which can happen. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you are going for the black firebomb strategy, when you're targeting them and you throw, unlock, and then move your camera up about uh, like 45 degrees or more into the sky so that your character is throwing in the right vector but then is throwing it further because the default sort of throwing throws it at their feet. And when you're on the steep old church roof, often what will happen is it'll hit in front of them. They'll get hit by the edge of the uh, blast damage, uh, splash damage, I mean, mm -hmm. and only do like 180 damage and only hit one of them. But if right after you hit the button to throw the firebomb, unlock, look up at the same time, it's sort of a trick. It's like a tricky thing to get used to doing. But your dude will throw the firebomb a lot further. It has a much higher chance of doing a direct hit, which does direct hit damage and then also the splash damage and also has a better chance of hitting the rest of them because they're clumped up. The end. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stop talking now if you want to talk about something else like money. <laughs> okay. Uh, if you liked watching Jeff suffer and glean all the knowledge from his pain and torment, that you don't have to go through the experimentation Not for looking for the DLC bosses. Some of them suck. <laughs> <laughs> but they're all fun to fight as two people. Mm -hmm. And three. Mm -hmm. Which you're not doing, and you're doing it at SL1. So, mm -hmm. to 
to continue seeing, I mean, we'll continue doing them regardless, but uh, if you like what you're seeing, we have a Patreon page that I'm sure Jeff has put the link up by, well, he probably put the link up like six minutes ago when the video ended. Yeah, uh, well, it is, yeah, yeah yes, yes. That did happen, <laughs> but uh, the uh, just just go and and uh, it's where you give us money every month. If you give us a buck, we will love you. If you give us a hundred dollars, we will love you. Uh, it will, and you'll get other things. Um, but it's it's an ongoing month to month thing, and we are like thirty four dollars away from me doing another LP, and then we are two hundred and thirty, no three hundred and two hundred thirty four. Don't Three. use specific numbers. It makes. <laughs> Because someone could be watching this video at any time in the future. <laughs> All right. So as it's... of January twenty seventh, two thousand fifteen, <laughs> at exactly, I guess you're. I'm says just saying we 11 are eleven twenty one. We are close. Central Standard Time. <laughs> we are close to me doing another LP, uh -huh. uh, and we are also not insurmountably far away from Jeff being able to do the LP he wants to do, which yes. is all of the From Software RPGs. Yes. Which I'm looking or forward to. Or most of them. Uh, I actually, for some, it's weird because you'd think that that would mean Dark Souls as well. Mm -hmm. Because we spent so much time doing Dark Souls, but I actually not even really decided whether I would do that or not. Because like, I feel like we think that we've sort of spent a lot of time doing it. Also, I've spent so many hours playing Dark Souls, it's weird to like go through it's it's hard to do like a normal playthrough i guess right well cause because we, i'm always just like all right we know exactly what build we want we know exactly where we want to go and just kind of doing it you know yeah but but that's the future there's I, a lot of the kingsfield games and stuff that's that true. i'm interested in i mean looking at. between the two of us we've got what 1400 hours in dark souls one yeah it's something like that it's, it's ridiculous it's and stupid, probably yeah. it's the same in dark souls 2 and if not then it's quickly catching up so. yep yeah i think i've only put like 200 into Dark Souls too. so. This time. This time. That's time true. to increase that, yeah. Uh, maybe we would be... Also, also I'd, I'd want to... Because, obviously, Demon Souls counts as uh, part of the Soul mm -hmm. series and also part of the From Software RPGs. And that's another weird one because it's a great game, but also, like... Like, the entire reason that I even played Dark Souls is because of the LP of Demon Souls was so good. Yeah. So it would be kind of weird to, like, do another one. It seems like well-trod territory. Especially since there's already been a second LP of it. And the first LP of it can, like, covered everything. Yeah. But it wasn't in HD. That's okay. That's true. I guess, I guess there's always that. Well, but anyways, that's that's far away. Anyways, if I <laughs> if we first of all if we get enough money to do it, then there's we go through Kingsfield, Kingsfield two, Kingsfield three, Kingsfield four, Ancient City, Shadow Tower, Shadow Tower Abyss. If I can figure out how to get that to work, uh, Eternal Ring possibly, even though it's a little bit more boring than the other ones. And then there's a few other ones that I'm forgetting. Uh, some of the other there's a few Stranger from Software RPGs even of those they're even more obscure but hmm. it's like kingdom of something like kingdom of fire that's not it I'll... and then Is there's like that one generic? that's called like something like that and then there's one that's like o odachi or something like that are you looking yeah, it up look right it up. now <laughs> yeah I'll look it up of course i am all right so yeah these are things we are interested in doing but they are patreon rewards uh, and again, as of January 27th, 2015, we are, uh, we're close. We are at $266 out of $300 before I will do another LP, which, uh, having discussed it and talked it over will probably be spiritual warfare by, <laughs> by it, wisdom tree. tree. Couldn't get through it, could you? <laughs> no, I couldn't. I almost... <clears throat> so what I was thinking of was, you um, laughed. Damn it. I know it was uh, Otogi was one of them. Um, there's also Enchanted Arms. There's also Evergrace. They did Enchanted Arms. There's also huh. Ku well Kuan Survival Horror. So is Echo Knight. That's also Survival Horror technically. It's weird. Uh, we might as well just do them all. Whatever. <laughs> uh, let's let's not commit to that because some of those I don't want to play because they're boring. Oh, fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> yeah, like, but we'll we'll say for sure definitely Shadow Tower and Kingsfield series, which are amazing. No okay. cap. So, like no no caveat those are those are the predecessors to uh, dark souls uh, dark fantasy 
uh, setting and all that. Where everything's sad. Yes, where everything is sad and and the story is not really told to you. And endings are usually after... Well, it's not, that's not entirely true. There's some good stuff to be uh, said about the ending of uh, Kingsfield 2. Uh, well, anyways, I'm going to stop talking now because <laughs> I'm tired of talking. <laughs> All right. <laughs> the gargoyles died a long time ago. Next time we're going to go fight. Uh, what do we fight next? Um, I, guess we'll find, I guess we'll find out together. You told me. <laughs> uh, ah, Freja. That's Freja. Right. Yes. Indeed. The Duke's own. Yes. The uh, dear that Duke's one is, Duke's that one's dear. much less stressful. Yes, that one's easy. <laughs> Despite being a, like a horrible spider monster. Mm -hmm. Super easy because it's not five horrible spider monsters yeah it's not five well i mean there is more than five spider monsters at the same time because there's ads but but it's the ads not are tiny five, yeah five gargoyles at once on a tiny roof mm -hmm. 